Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Zaheer, and today we'll be looking at the Multi Agent Orchestrator by AWS. Uh, this is going to be a very short video. Uh, this is not going to be a detailed code walkthrough. We'll just simply be, you know, running uh, the examples that are already present in this particular report that you're seeing on the screen. Um, as you can see from the screen, this looks very intuitive, very easy for uh, the the developers to consume information. Uh, this has three key components here. One is the classifier. Uh, essentially an intent classifier which classifies intent and selects the relevant agent the other one obviously is an agent uh, that you know processes the request using an llm and the uh, the third component is memory right so that that also becomes a context for the classifier to essentially identify a follow up intent or follow up query and then select the relevant agent uh, either the same agent that processed it previously, or maybe a complete new agent, depending on the type of query that is coming in. All right. Um, with that, I think uh, let's get started. I'm going to quickly show you some of the examples that I was running here. Let me stop this and sorry, clear screen. So I, I copied the example of the fast API uh, demo from the Multi agent orchestrator repo. Uh, and this is pretty simple. Uh, let's look at the you know the quick ones. So there is a custom handler to essentially uh, take in queries and then add it to a queue. And uh, you know, you need to essentially set up the multi agent orchestrator. There are there is a lot of configuration that you can actually pass here. Uh, and the kind of classifier that you're using, there are multiple types of classifier. Uh, that you can select, you can actually create your own classifier or leverage the ones that the uh, the uh, this particular orchestrator comes with. Uh, you can also create uh, agents, and if you've seen the previous demos on, let's say, Crew AI or uh, the Swarm Open AI Swarm's multi orchestrator, multi agent orchestrator framework, you will see that uh, the the agent class looks pretty similar to this, but let me quickly walk you guys through uh, the agent class here. I'm leveraging a built-in agent called Bedrock LLM agent. You can actually create a, your own custom LLM agent. Uh, this agent takes in name, obviously, the name of the agent. Do you want to really do you want to stream the information or not? And also the description. And this is the most important one because this is what is used to identify uh, the uh, the intent and you know select this particular you know agent, right? Similarly, you know. Uh, I created a completely different agent called football agent just to you know ask a few football queries and then there is the health agent. Let's see how this particular agent can handle the request. Now before I do that, let me tell you the most important part of this particular demo. Uh, to run the Bedrock LLM agent, you obviously need to have access to the uh, Anthropic LLMs that are running on AWS. Uh, to do that, you need to essentially create a free, free tier account on AWS and uh, go to the Bedrock services and click on Bedrock configurations, model access, and get yourself access to these three uh, models, essentially, Cloud 3.5 Haiku or Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, and in fact, Cloud 3 Sonnet and Cloud 3 Haiku as well. Uh, by doing this, this is free. Uh, this shouldn't cost you anything, and you should be able to run this on free, free tier. Obviously, there is a rate limit uh, you will not be able to make several calls uh, in a minute, but for you to just you know try this particular agent framework, you should be good enough. All right. Um, I intend to run this now. Let's quickly run this particular agent and see how this works. I was actually running this a few minutes ago. All right. So this is running in port eighty eighty. I have that open already here. I'm going to try it out. So as you saw that we have created three different agents. So let me start with the first one. So I'm going to ask it, what is AWS Bedrock? I'm sorry. And we'll give it a user ID and a session ID. And let's see. A uh, user ID and session ID is key for you know the uh, the conversation history because you know you might want to retain the conversation history for this particular user and for this particular session and then 
uh, identify intent based on the conversation uh, that you've had previously using the same user ID and session. Key to a lot of uh, uh, chat-like interfaces, right? All right, uh, like I said, you need to set up an AWS account. Uh, this is referencing to the AWS credentials that I've set up using AWS CLI. I'm gonna share the link on how you need to do that. Uh, all right, so obviously it has started running and finished processing the request. My query was, what is AWS Bedrock? Uh, it has classified the in intent that and it has selected the agent to be tech agent and the confidence score is 0.95, which is excellent. And it has processed this in three seconds. So let me go back and look at the response. I'm gonna increase the size here. And let's see what the response is. AWS Bedrock is a new service. Da, 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 da. It's good. Let me give you a uh, you know query and see how it would identify the football agent. So I'm gonna ask it, who is the leading goal scorer in international? Okay, I'm not gonna word, mention the word football and let's see, we actually remove the words goal as well and see how would it, it would uh, essentially identify the intent. Let me go back as it, as expected, it has identified the intent uh, to be a football agent or the intent for the football agent. The confidence score is 0.95 great and it has finished processing it in the expected time. And and awesome, the Cristiano obviously Ronald Cristiano Ronaldo is the leading the goal scorer in uh, international soccer, and the information seems correct. I don't know if the goal goal count is uh, good. I can't validate that now, but Cristiano Ronaldo is definitely the leading goal scorer. So we have another agent called the health agent, uh, and as you can see, the description is very vague. It says expert health. But let's see if it is able to identify the relevant intent. Okay. Remember, I am using the same session ID, so it knows that I have previously asked a question on soccer or football. Let's see if it is able to, you know, identify the intent correctly. So I'm going to ask it, what are the most common injuries in sports? And let's see if it will select the right intent. Yep, it has selected the intent, uh, the relative intent and selected the agent. The agent here is health agent. Uh, the confidence score is 0.9. Uh, there is a little bit of ambiguity here, right? Because my previous question had to do with sports and then I'm following it up with, uh, you know, query on health uh, and it was able to select this particular intent. And the key here is, and let me actually first show you the response sprains, overuse injuries, concussions, fractures, ACL tears. All right, so the key here is that the description needs to be as detailed as possible so that you know you can zero down on the precise agent uh, or identify the relevant intent and zero down on precise agent and you know, execute the tasks. All right, uh, you can, uh, let me show you the weather agent. I'm not gonna run this. Uh, as you can imagine, every agent Agentic framework today has the most important uh, component tools, and this one also has comes with tools. From tools, you can actually specify the kind of tool that you want to add here. So, let me show you the tool that we've added. We've created a weather tool. Uh, there is a specific format that you want to leverage here. It takes in name, description, the input schema, so that it can identify the object. Uh, one thing that I have to tell you that the tool detail is, you know. Uh, relatively complex to set up here, at least from the example that I'm seeing versus let's say a crew AI, uh, because in crew AI, you just, you know, give it a doc string and then add a decorator add tool. And it still does a very good job of identifying the tool, right? Uh, but here, I think you need to create the schema of the input and maybe the output as well. I'm not sure if this, yeah, but you need to just create the schema of input. Uh, the advantages here is that you'll have very precise input that will be generated by the uh, LLM, but the downside is that you'll have to, you know, do this detailed uh, configuration. But you know, if you're in an enterprise setup and you want precision, uh, this is a good time. Uh, this investment in time uh, to write this input schema is going to be that much more beneficial in the long run. All right, guys. Let's quickly look at the documentation as well. Uh, so, like I 
you know called outer layer it has key components the other components being the classifier uh, and agents and the uh, another component being uh, you know the conversation storage uh, and you can actually create custom classifiers using uh, you know your own the llm that you have access to that could be from azure or uh, you know anthropic or open ai you can also create your own agents there are a lot of pre built uh, agents that come in as part of the package but you can obviously create your own custom agent and the storage op opportunities are also great you can use in memory as well as dynamo dynamo db or you know set up your own custom storage what right, i guess that's it from uh, me on this one i thought this is a very clean very uh, you know intuitive flow of uh, you know data uh, for a developer to understand and build agentic frameworks still not as simple as let's say uh, open ai swarm but i think uh, you know when you want to set up enterprise grade you know agents i think this should be an agent agentic framework that you can fall back on uh, also open ai swarm is still not officially in production that that's still an it's still in experiment stage but uh, aws has shared this as something that you could leverage in production all right guys that's it from me in today's video if you like this video please uh, you know subscribe to the channel and share it with your network appreciate your time here thank you